SIGSCALE's online charging system implements the TM Forum open APIs for integration with uh, business support systems from, from any vendor and uh, uh, open standards communications. Now we have a web components based graphical user interface uh, which you can use in any browser uh, and it will actually use exclusively the, the TM Forum open API. So anything that you, you see here um, you can implement uh, through uh, an interface to any other uh, BSS system or uh, the simple scripting that you could do yourself. Uh, now, the, the, the GUI application that we've created is, uh, is based on web components and it uses Google Material Design, so it should have a familiar look and feel. Uh, here we have the application toolbar at the top, there's an overflow uh, menu icon, and a couple action buttons for uh, refreshing a grid view or downloading the, 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 the contents of the table to a CSV file on your workstation. Uh, we have the, uh, the, the, to the left of the title bar is the application menu and that will slide open and close the application drawer containing the navigation menu. So uh, the root level of the navigation menu, um, we uh, can define our clients which are the uh, ne network access server clients such as a GPRS support node, uh, using Diameter RO or a uh, IMS feature server for voice using Diameter RO or, uh, or maybe just um, uh, Wi-Fi access points using Radius. Uh, and uh, users are, are the, uh, the users who are authorized to use the REST interface, so we can create uh, multiple of those. And we have uh, various logs of the activity on the system and uh, you can search and view those through here as well. Uh, and that uses uh, the TM Forum usage management uh, open APIs. And uh, for this video though, we want to concentrate on the product catalog management. Uh, so we're gonna go into products and we'll start by looking at product offerings. And so this is the, uh, the grid view of product offers, but there's nothing here yet. So what we're going to do is go down to the bottom right and click on the floating action button. And this brings up a add product offering dialog. So I'm going to enter the name of the new product offering. And the next thing that's quite important is to, to choose a product specification. A product specification uh, is available on, in the OCS product catalog and uh, there are various specifications that are there and there are two composite specifications um, which really define the, 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 the features and capabilities uh, of the uh, online charging systems product catalog. So this, this uh, defines the various uh, characteristics uh, which which you you can can define down here uh, and uh, allows you to 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 do proprietary things essentially so things that uh, are unique to the the OCS implementation uh, but done in a standard way and that's how everyone uh, all vendors will do it uh, so we're going to choose the prepaid data product specification for this product offering and now we'll go to the prices tab. I'm going to create a usage um, rating price. So the price type will be usage. Uh, because of the data service I'm going to choose the units as bytes. I'm going to choose a unit size here for this example of one gigabyte and let's give it a charge of one dollar per gigabyte. Now, I, I named this price overage because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the alterations tab and I'm going to create an alteration we'll call allowance. And 
give it a recurring price type. And the units here are going to be bytes. And I'm going to choose an amount of, let's, uh, oops, sorry, the, uh, the, the amount to charge, the rate, is zero. And the unit size, I'm going to choose 60 gigabytes. So here we're going to do zero rating of 60 gigabytes of, of usage. Uh, and uh, this is a recurring price type, and I'm going to choose monthly. Uh, so what we're, we're creating is a bucket of 60 gigabytes that, that is rated uh, is zero rated uh, during the month. So a, a subscriber um, can use up to 60 gigabytes uh, with, with no charge. And then above the 60 gigabytes, they'll, they'll use the overage price that we, that we have defined in the prices tab. I'm going to go ahead and click add to uh, add that alteration in. Uh, you can see it in the list. We can define multiple alterations that are part of this uh, product offer. And uh, this is the one, the 60 gigabytes. We'll go back to prices now, and we are looking at our overage uh, price. And I'm going to go to alterations, and now I can select uh, the allowance alteration I've added in the alterations tab. So that will dynamically show what has been created in the alterations tab. Uh, so we're ready to go ahead and uh, add this uh, price in, and it will then show up in the in the list of prices. Um, but I'm going to now uh, add a new price. I'm going to create an installation charge. So the price type is one time. I'm going to create an amount of ten dollars. 1,000 cents, and I'll go ahead and add that in. So now we have two prices associated with this product offer. So <clears throat> we've now created the, the whole product offer. When I press submit, uh, it will do a, uh, a post to the, uh, to the TM Forum Open API's uh, product offering collection, and and uh, now we've instantiated a, a, new, a new product offer in the SIGScale Online Charging Systems product catalog. So you'll see that here in the list. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and create another package. In this case, we're going to create a voice package. I'm going to give it the uh, product specification prepaid voice. And this is going to look very similar to the other one in this case for this demonstration. Uh, I'm going to create a usage price. Uh, however, the units here are going to be seconds. Uh, I'm going to choose a 60 second unit size and a one cent uh, per minute uh, rate. Uh, but we'll go to alterations and we'll create an allowance similar to what we did with data. And this will be recurring. The period is monthly. The type is seconds and the unit size is one hour. And we'll put zero for the rating. Um, we, could, uh, we could have a charge for that bucket. But uh, I'm going to choose zero. And I'll go ahead and add that alteration in. Go back to prices. And again, we're, we, we're still in the middle of defining our overage uh, usage price. So I'm going to choose the allowance to attach that allowance here. And I'll click that. So now we've got a, uh, a price for, uh, for, for overage. And we've got a bucket attached to that. Uh, I'm going to also put an installation charge in here. So again, a one-time charge of $10. And we'll add that in. So now we've got two prices. We'll go back to offering and submit. And it will post that to the product catalog. Uh, now, I we could create subscriptions to either one of those packages. but for our example, uh, let's, 
let's create a monthly voice and data bundle. So instead of choosing a product specification now, I'm going to open up the, the list of, of already defined packages. These are the two packages we've just defined. Um, if we had defined three, there'd be three here. And we'll, we'll choose both of those and combine them into one bundled package. Now, since we uh, hadn't defined any subscription costs, I'm going to add the subscription cost in at this level. A lot of flexibility in how you can tailor and design these things, um, but for our example, I'm just going to create a, a, a price at the bundle level, uh, which is a recurring uh, monthly charge of $30. We'll go ahead and add that price, go back to the offering tab and submit, and there we've created the new package. Uh, we can go back in and look at these just by clicking on the line. So there's the, the bundle, we go look at the voice package, um, go back and, and look at the pricing, uh, et cetera. So uh, that's, that's the, the product catalog management. Let's go back to our application menu and we'll go to the subscribers level and here we have a grid view of subscriptions however we don't have any yet so I'm going to go down to the bottom right click on the floating action button and we bring up a dialogue allowing us to choose a product to create a subscription for uh, we're going to do a subscription to the bundle and that brings up the add subscriber dialogue now, there are three tabs here. Uh, authentication is necessary, so for to, to attach a, a, a customer to, to this particular subscription, we, we're going to need some credentials. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, generate to just generate random but unique uh, credentials on the server side. And uh, we, we could set up some authorization. Uh, a, common, a common thing that we do is to, is to select uh, a 60 second uh, accounting update for radius clients, um, a few things that we can do there, but uh, we're uh, then in the credit tab, what we can do is add an initial balance bucket uh, for rating. So because we created a, uh, we created a, a bundle with a subscription charge of $30 a month, and it contains two other products, and each one of those products had a, uh, an allowance associated with it. And so uh, it, and it also has a, uh, an installation charge for each one of those. So we, ch we are charging $10 for installation of voice, $10 for installation of, of data, and then we charged a $30 per month subscription to the bundle. So when I create this, it's, it's going to charge the, uh, the, the $50 uh, total for, for all of the one-time and, and, and initial uh, recurring charges. So I need a, um, a balance bucket to do that, otherwise it will go negative and they, they won't be able to use the service yet. So we're going to take a payment from the su subscriber and express it here. Now, uh, $50 is needed, but I'm going to take uh, $60 so that we have some headroom for overage. And we'll go ahead and submit that. So it brings up a dialog showing us the, uh, the, 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 the generated uh, credentials, uh, but we don't need those right now. There's only one thing in the list. And uh, so here, here we are with the identity and password, the name of the product. Uh, now this group of columns represents the balance buckets and each column provides the accumulated total for the balance buckets of each type. So there are uh, cents, bytes, and seconds. Now, we initially gave it 6,000 cents, uh, but uh, it, uh, it took uh, the, the two $10 installation fees and the initial $30 subscription fee out of that cents bucket when we instantiated the subscription. So there's only, there's only $10 left. 
And you'll see though that what it has done is created the balance buckets for the allowances. So there's 3,600 seconds, which is one hour of, uh, of, of voice usage. Uh, and there is 60 gigabytes for data usage. Uh, now, we, we could have uh, we could have built the, uh, the the data package, uh, the, the the data product using session length as well, uh, but uh, uh, in this case, that so we've chosen to 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 rate it by by bytes. Uh, so there there you have it. Uh, as the subscriber uh, usage is, is presented to the system on the diameter RO interface or the radius interface, um, we'll will match the service type that that usage represents uh, to the, to the uh, product pricing that is part of the package they're subscribed to and will rate it accordingly. So uh, here as uh, voice minutes are, are, are presented for, your, for usage rating, we'll decrement the seconds bucket until they've used up their, their free hour per month and then we're gonna use the one cent per second or one cent per minute rate that we defined uh, for the voice package, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll be uh, making reservations from the cents um, bucket against that, and uh, the same is true of of the data. So we've got sixty gigabytes of data. Uh, if he only uses uh, half of that, and the month comes around, uh, uh, then it expires. But a, a new sixty gigabyte uh, uh, allocation is made that that he can. Um, used in that month. If you go over the 60 gigabytes, then he's going to be charged at the one gigabit per second rate that, that we put in for that. And uh, in this view, you'll see those, those uh, aggregate total balances uh, decrementing as usage is made.